हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द इफेक्टिव ऑटोमिक नंबर रूल इन ऑर्गेनोमेटालिक कंपाउंड इट इज सिमिलर टू द 18 इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड इट इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू इवैल्यूएट द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनोमेटालिक कंपाउंड द इफेक्टिव ऑटोमिक नंबर इज डिफाइंड एज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पॉजिस बाय द ट्रांजिशन मेटल एटम और आयन and the electron gain by it from the ligands the effective atomic number rule states that for a stable complex formation the effective atomic number in an organometallic complex should be equal to either 36 54 or 86 electron for example transition metal from the 3d series will try to achieve an effective atomic number of 36 as the krypton in the period similarly 4d and 5d transitions metal will try to achieve an effective atomic number of xenon and radon respectively after acquiring the electronic configuration of noble gas their complexes become stable consider the example of penta carbonyl methyl manganese the atomic number of manganese is 25 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of manganese is zero that means the manganese will contribute 25 electrons also each carbonyl ligand will donate two electrons so overall 10 electron from five carbonyl ligand methyl ligand is a one electron donor consequently the effective atomic number of penta carbonyl methyl manganese is 36 that means the complex follows the effective atomic number rule and is stable okay based on the atomic number and charges on the metal one can easily calculate the number of electrons contributed by the metal but the problem arises in finding the number of electron donated by the ligand there are so many ligand some are neutral while some are negative in charge they also differ in the type of electron used in a bond formation with metal Here I have tabulated the electron counts of various ligand. There are two method for evaluating the effective atomic number of organometallic compound. A covalent method that consider both metal and ligand as neutral atom while evaluating electron count. An ionic method that consider the oxidation state of metal and charges on the ligand while evaluating electron count. A covalent method is quite convenient and easy to use and I always recommend it to my student. The nitrogen and phosphorus atom in amine and phosphine ligand use their lone pair of electron in the bond formation with the metal so they donate two electron. The electron count in hydrogen and nitrogen diatomic molecule is also two as both the atoms of their molecules are involved in the bond formation with the metal. carbonyl cyanide and alkene use their pi electron in the bond formation with the metal so they also donate two electron alkyne is a flexible ligand which can donate either four or two electrons depending on the complex requirement to show stability nitrosyl can donate either one or three electron depending on the nature of the metal the band structure nitrosyl which carry a negative charge is one electron donor while the linear structure nitrosyl which carry a positive charge is three electron donor it is experimentally observed that the transitions metal from the 3d series form a complex with linear structure nitrosyl on the other hand the transitions metal from the 5d series form a complex with band structure nitrosyl so based on the nature of transitions metal we can predict the electron count of nitrosyl ligand ligands such as halogen hydrogen alkyl acyl and amide use a sigma electron only during the bond formation with the metal thus they are one electron donor allyl 
साइक्लोपेंटा डाइनाइल एंड बेंजीन कैन बी सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर और मल्टी इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेदर डी लोकलाइज इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ द साइक्लिक रिंग आर इन्वॉल्व इन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन विद मेटल और नॉट नाउ लेट मी इलेट द कोवलन मैथड एंड न्यूट्रल मैथड यूजिंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पेंटा कार्बोनिल हाइड्राइडो मैगनीज कॉम्प्लेक्स फर्स्ट यूजिंग न्यूट्रल मैथड Atomic number of manganese is 25, so it will contribute 25 electrons. Also, each carbon ligand will donate two electron, so 10 electron from five carbon ligand. Hydrogen is a one electron donor, consequently the effective atomic number is 36. Okay, using covalent method, the oxidation state of manganese is plus one, so 24 electron from manganese ion. 10 electron from 5 carbonyl and 2 electron from hydrohydro ion consequently the effective number effective atomic number is 36 both of the methods gave the same result but the neutral method is more convenient now let me illustrate some more example hexaamine cobalt ion complex the ammonia is a neutral ligand so the charge on the complex indicate the oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 Since the atomic number of cobalt is 27, therefore cobalt 3 ion will contribute 24 electrons. Also, each ammonia ligand will donate two electrons, so 12 electrons from the six ligand. Consequently, the effective atomic number of this complex is 36. That means the complex follow effective atomic number rule and is stable. Hexacyanoferrite ion complex. the atomic number of iron is 26 and therefore iron plus 2 will contribute 24 electron also each cyanide ligand will donate two electron so 12 electron from six ligand consequently the effective atomic number of this complex is also 36 which make it stable in this complex the atomic number of chromium is 24 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of chromium is zero that means chromium will donate contribute 24 electrons also each carbonyl ligand will donate two electrons so overall six electron from three carbonyl ligand ethyl ligand and pi cyclopentadienyl will donate one and five electron respectively that means this complex is also following 36 atomic numbers effective atomic number rule and is stable in this complex we have both one and five electron donor cyclo pentadienyl also the oxidation state of iron is zero so 26 electron from iron four from two carbonyl one from sigma cyclo pentadienyl and five from pi cyclo pentadienyl thus overall 36 electron which make this complex stable in this complex the atomic number of cobalt is 27 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of cobalt is zero that means cobalt will contribute 27 electron thus 27 electron from cobalt four from cyclobutadiene five from cyclopentadienyl consequently the effective atomic number of this complex is 36 and it is a stable complex the charge on the complex is zero so 23 electron from vanadium and 6 from 3 carbonyl and 5 from cyclopentadienyl the sum of these electron is 34 as we know an alkyne ligand is a flexible that can donate either 4 or 2 electron depending on the complex requirement to show stability therefore here in this complex alkyne will act as two electron donor to make this complex stable the charge on this complex is plus 1 so 24 electron from magnesium ion and 10 from 5 carbonyl the sum of these electron is 34 likewise previous complex alkyne will act as two electron donor to make this complex stable 
in this complex nitrosyl is bonded with the transitions metal from 3d series hence it must be linear structure nitrosyl which is a 3 electron donor thus 28 electron from nickel 3 from linear nitrosyl and 5 from pi cyclopentadienyl consequently the effective atomic number of this complex is 36 and is also a stable complex in this complex the atomic number of molybdenum is 42 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of molybdenum is 0 that means the molybdenum will contribute 42 electrons thus 4 electron from 2 carbonyl 3 from pi allyl and 5 from pi cyclopentadienyl ligand consequently the effective atomic number of this complex is 54 and it is also following effective atomic number rule and it is a stable complex similarly in this complex a contribution of 42 electron from molybdenum 6 electron from 3 carbonyl and 5 from pi cyclopentadienyl ligand overall 54 electron and it is also following effective atomic number rule and is stable in this complex the atomic number of rhodium is 45 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of rhodium is zero that means the rhodium will contribute 45 electrons both alkyne and tetrafluoroethylene are flexible ligand that can donate either four or two electron depending on the complex requirement to show stability therefore here in this case comp these two ligand will also act two electron donor to make this complex stable the atomic number of tungsten is 74 and there is no charge on the complex so the oxidation state of tungsten is zero that means tungsten will contribute 74 electron trimethylsilyl is a one electron donor thus 74 electron from tungsten six electron from three carbonyl one from trimethylsilyl and five from pi cyclopentadienyl ligand consequently the effective atomic number of this complex is 86 that means the complex follow effective atomic number rule and is stable the atomic number of rhenium is 75 thus 75 electron from rhenium 10 electron from 5 carbonyl and one from methyl ligand Consequently, the effective atomic number of this complex is 86. That means it's, this complex is also stable. Some organometallic compounds do not obey effective atomic number rule, but they are quite stable. Their stability can be explained by valence bond theory, crystal field theory, molecular orbital theory, etc. I hope now you all understood and predict whether the following complexes follow effective atomic number rule. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video of this series.